slots uh, <laughs> is not much for imbibing or consuming. So uh, <laughs> he goes off toward the uh, uh, merchant's district uh, in order to find these unique one-of-a-kind wares that the village elder spoke uh, was hyping up. But Scarlet, something prevents him from getting there before the rest of you. What was that? Hmm, what part of town is he in again? What uh, on he, earth was I that? I mean, he sets off with you, but he's going across the river. Ah. Um, let's see. And up toward uh, the two marked named locations on the map. Uh, well, this, this building here seems to be falling apart. What's the deal with that? It's built on marshland. <laughs> Specifically on the banks of a river flowing through marshland. <laughs> One guess. <laughs> Perhaps the the bridge just collapses under him and he falls yes. into the, 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 the great march. weight of the parade and all the uh, 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 ribaldry has uh, provided more weight on the bridge than has it has ever faced since it was built. And Which slots is becomes more than a, one person. Slots becomes a soggy sunny when he's trying <laughs> to make his way there. Doesn't this what? seem fucked up when you consider that slots hovers and Wimbledon flies? <laughs> 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 Still applies weight to the bridge. Uh, so Scarlet, what does Scarlet do to to live it up? Uh, well, let's see. Is, is there a uh, any place where wizards gather in this town? Uh, this place don't see much book learning. Uh, but <laughs> there uh -huh. is a uh, there's Nerdsburg. It is a <laughs> Nerdsburg. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's a hobby store really? mm -hmm. that, uh, once again, also has uh, half off its wares, and all the regulars are uh, playing card games while cheering the uh, success of the champions. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go there. Okay. That's the best I'll get. They, Mint! They passed it on the way in, and Bella like, pointed it out to Scarlet. Like, hey, Scarlet, I found just a place for you. Hey, Mint, uh, Scarlet learned something uh, that she wasn't expecting to at Nerdsburg. What is that? Uh, well, what Scarlet learned at Nerdsburg is uh, watching one of the games that they were all playing there, uh, it's actually a uh, sort of... It's, it's pretty similar to one that she played back in, in Wizard School um, with some sort of local variations on it. Um, and as it turns out, uh, you know, they're, they're just playing sort of casually now, but tomorrow, but they're, they're, they're going to, um, as part of the celebration, uh, hold a town-wide, uh, tournament with a mysterious prize. Hey. And since Scarlet played this back in school, maybe she might want maybe. to enter. Now, what does Mint do in, in the festivities? Alright. Magic the Gathering tournament? Like, in <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Alright, no, it's cool, Scarlet. No one, card. no one, don't tell anyone, but I can lend you my deck. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, what, what is Mint mint after? More mint mead. Mint is after uh, uh, mead. And, well, oh, man, I haven't been to a good party like this since. Well, since the last time I had a real job. Um. <laughs> Didn't we celebrate at Dorftown? That was like you were that, that was, almost that was three right. weeks. You ago. were ceremonially ceremonially rewarded. It wasn't so yeah. much a, a huge uh, block party like this, except it's every single block. Yeah, so I'm basically going to be drinking and find hooting and hollowing and find finding other people who just want to and hollow and drink and have a good time. All right. And just be like, hey, what's what's going on? Everybody knows yeah. the best meat in town is at uh, one specific tavern known as the Honey Pot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, put me in the Honey Pot. <laughs> God. Don't you know what mead is? It's an Everybody's... obvious name. It's not an incredibly rude name. It's fermented <laughs> honey mead. It's, ah. Uh... Anyhow. Honey. Manuel, mm -hmm. uh, Mint gets in a bit over his... No, that's too obvious. <laughs> Mint... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mint wins a contest at the honeypot. Mm. What is it? 
Oh, well, <laughs> Mint won an arm wrestling contest against one the Bar Tavern's owner, which would be Lorelin Left Talon Lorella, who was one of the people who fought the dragon at one point. Not many people know that a girl had taken her on, so she's pretty old at this point. <laughs> but she did manage to have her hand taken off by one of the wyverns that accompanies Imugi. So usually she manages to win using that anim magically animated left talon of hers. Ah. Mm-hmm. Not a wet t-shirt contest, Mint, no. <laughs> it was an arm wrestling competition that you wouldn't really think Mint would be able to to pull off. What? It'd be even more impressive if he won a wet t-shirt contest. But what does no, Manuel be... get up to during this, the, the Manuel festivities? Manuel hates the city. <laughs> it is covered in mud. He's so muddy. I'm much more He's used... If I'm going to have a party, I'd rather have it be a decadent gala among wealthy landowners, local dignitaries. This is just... <laughs> this a town has of, none of those things. This, this town is just a bunch of rabble know, celebrating you... in muck. So he's going to take whatever silk-like material you can find, place it on some roof, and try to... Sit and, on it. Try to stay dry. <laughs> All right. Uh, men, you know, you're you're building to, like, to sink us further in. into the mud. As you <laughs> Manuel has climbed uh, uh, up atop the uh, bell tower that adorns the courthouse and sees that uh, a, a very pleasant... If it weren't for his distaste of the, this town and its residents, a very Everything pleasant is. view of uh, just the lights uh, of lanterns uh, rising uh, into the hazy mist, people from the surrounding area uh, as the uh, runners oh. carry the news and uh, evening begins to fall. Uh, people are swarming in to join the big party. I mean, they, they pitched into the big pile. They want to join in the big party, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Listen, uh, don't come to me when you all contract trench foot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and well, for for a knoll, you seem to have developed the most extreme opposite tastes. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. is uh, something else that uh, Manuel sees from that vantage point that will that will uh, please him greatly. What is it? Good luck. Um, oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> uh, oh yes, I see this pile of junk sitting a munch sitting among a mud. Hut village. Man, we'll see something in the pile of junk. He can't quite make it out, but it looks valuable. Mm. Like what? <laughs> um, what could I possibly see? Come on. Well, it's very clearly a magic item. It appears mm. to be some very sort of sword. And well crafted sword. Yeah. Come on. I would have detected that. Would no. you? I Calm would down, literally you have Scarlet did earlier. Would you have Listen, <laughs> you were trying to follow the magic that you were hunting down the river. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Anyhow, we'll get back to that later. But after we find out what men uh what Rip does during all uh, this. Rip managed to All this get nonsense Bjorn. and whatnot. Rip managed to get Bjorn to like buck up a little bit and go out of town. And now bit. he he is just kind of inspired by Bjorn, who <laughs> is his very many accomplishments. Yeah, no, because his, you know, his grace and honor in the face of and his what appears to be defeat. And he's kind of <laughs> wandering around, like he's kind of wandering through the streets with Bjorn and Mercury, going like, "Oh man, barbarians are so cool. What if I just? Oh, why did I ever stop doing that?" <laughs> he's getting increasingly hype and inspired by Bjorn, and he's kind of talking to Mercury, like, "Mercury, what if I just?" What if I just got back into it, man? <laughs> and in a All way, right. that, that kind of helped cheer B, uh, cheer Bjorn up, because like yeah. having one of seven heroes that slayed Imugi, like, looking up to him, you know, pretty brings bring some energy right. back. Now, Bella, in the middle of all this, Mercury makes some real trouble. What does he get up to? <laughs> what, what sort oh, of trouble God. does he cause for Rip? Oh, God... I don't even want to think about that shitty ghost. <laughs> um, Shit ghost. <laughs> uh, he's kind of growing on me, you guys. He, uh, on in whatever. <laughs> um, he he sets he sets fire to uh one of the empty houses. Oh my god! 
Why would he do this? Because he's Mercury. Why? How does he do this? Because he's, he's Mercury. Yeah, like everyone was having too much fun and like like they're too like celebratory, and so he kind of just come on, Mercury. you know, that fire to come one of the houses. Fuck on. And, I mean, how? Uh, I think it might have spread to one of the other ones before kind of getting muffled out by the, or at least contained in like the gross mud. Muffled by the yeah. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, one of those houses oh, was no. Bjorn's house. No! Mm-hmm. Why would oh, you man. Do this oh, time? man. Mercury, come on. What is What sort of uh, party times does Bella enjoy tonight? Uh, fire fighting. <laughs> Bella's really, really torn uh, between um, hanging out at, at one of the taverns. Like, maybe, maybe the honey... The honey pot sounds like her kind of place, to be honest, so... <laughs> Either she's spending some time at the yes, honeypot. Yes, this is where all the beautiful people come to hollow and drink mead. <laughs> exactly. So either she 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 spends some time at the honeypot, but also she uh, she spends a lot of time just petting Wimbledon because she really likes just just <laughs> petting friendly animals, and Wimbledon's really cute. So uh huh uh huh. She kind of like takes kind of a backseat and pets Wimbledon a bunch for a little while, and then decides, hey, I'll apparently abandoned this- slots in the river. Yeah, and in the in the pro, well, it was a you know, it's, it's a it's a there's a broad timeline here. There was a part where she was petting Wimbledon, perhaps before Slots kind of went off on his own with Wimbledon, and mm-hmm. she kind of came across uh, the honey pot and decided to hang out yeah. there and like oh, this is my kind of place. It wasn't quite what she had in mind, but it's still a really really nice place. Well, better know? than that nerd place. <laughs> better than oh, nerd's burn. Oh, she right. walked past it, saw Scarlet, and they're playing cards and just kind of laughed. Nerd. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, Margaret, Bella's uh, party started with uh, Animal Times and had some drinking uh, of everyone's favorite mead bar in the middle, but it ended somewhere else entirely. Where did Bella wind up? Um, mm, let me think for a minute. Nerdstrom. Nerdstrom. I can't remember the. Is it. As Bella was leaving the tavern, she was actually affronted by the person who um, mid defeated in the arm wrestling contest a little while ago. Mm. Who who decided that since. Uh, who, who was feeling bitter and angry at the fact that someone else was able to defeat the dragon other than them and also defeat them in an arm wrestling contest and wanting to take it out on <laughs> somebody, hoped that since uh, she almost took the dragon out alone, that she could at least take out one of the people who did it, them, uh, who did it as a group of seven. Oh, vengeance. And so, as Bella was was making her way back to the middle of town, she attacked her in a back alley. She was like, not in a back alley, maybe oh, just dear. like... Maybe a a Look, one of you has to get into a bar fight, come on. No, yeah, totally. But just not. No, I, I don't see why Bella would be in a back alley. Maybe like a, oh. like a, like a frontal, like a, like a commonly a tread front alley. alley. Back alley. The front alley. Okay. That's the just, front alley, you know, sure. have to go back there. All Come right. On. And so Bella, uh, as she shakes off her hangover in the morning, opens her eyes, finds herself inside the town lockup with some other people Wait. who had a bit, a bit too much to drink, including, uh, <laughs> you, didn't you know. drink that much. It's, like it's fun this way, trust me. Yeah. Anyhow... <laughs> <laughs> what does Margaret get up to? Oh. Ringworm. Wakes up in prison. Ringworm? Ringworm. Yep, that's about... <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> oh, God. What does Margaret do for... Does Is Margaret capable of fun? Uh, Margaret, since she's, like, you know, received the most honors for this whole thing and also isn't really the partying type, feels that she, um... She should probably do something respectful, and so she goes to visit the gravesides of all the previous champions. To pay her respects oh, to, to their come effort. Come on. Oh, that's actually really nice. I like that quite a bit. Also, like, she just starts scratching her scalp incessantly. <laughs> just needs to get away from public view. Of course. The graves are a bit hard to find in all the mud, though. Uh, now, Slots. Funny, wouldn't you know it, uh, Margaret meets someone she's met before there, and here of all places, away from the, the noise and bustle. Who does she meet? Would you be surprised if I said Lorette? That. I would be hot darn shocked. That seems kind of... 
Hello, Margie. Margaret uh, just looks absolutely terrified. She just does her best to remove the crown as quickly as possible before it's, she can get a good look It's at okay, her. it's okay. Just know that we've still been watching one way or another. I mean, <laughs> they were selling tickets uh, not too long ago. How could we not? Uh, Margaret is wondering if she's hallucinating, you know, as a result of the swamp gases. <laughs> oh. Because this seems too awful to be true, you know? <laughs> In any case, just know that you're always welcome to renegotiate an offer or to just go home. Your family misses you. Ah, your oh kids God. are growing up so tall and their their ears are just getting so pointed. That's coming in so well. Margaret shakes her head. <laughs> no, never. In any case... And with that, without even actually saying goodbye, she just sort of disappears, and the uh, that mask she was wearing falls to the the ground with a wet thump. Is that another magic item? <laughs> uh, it's not magic, but it's really fancy. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. I'm gonna pretend it didn't happen. I don't think anybody in this whole campaign scares me as much as they that. Jesus. Anyone who can talk to Margaret, like, anyone who can scare Margaret, actually. <laughs> anyone who can get under Margaret's skin has to be the most terrifying oh, the reasons that The reasons that she can upset Margaret are probably pretty specific. <laughs> Still, no one else can. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, as, uh, I mean, it took you some time traveling to get to this point. Uh, and it took you an afternoon, oh, evening... Wow, I didn't know uh, Tran perfected the time-traveling machine. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're, you're time-traveling through the marsh before you even got here. You, you got here, uh, like, night was falling as you finished the fight, and you got here after a uh, night of repairs and rest and a, a morning of travel. So after a, a, an evening of, of partying, and a night of partying in some cases, uh, it is the next day. Uh, the hey. the fire department has quelled the uh, bit of <laughs> let's let's call it spirited uh, vandalism. Man, I feel real bad about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Bella wakes up with a headache and a half. Uh, she doesn't drink that much. <laughs> Not hungover like hell. She's just she got in a fight and got arrested, and it was her fault. Well, you should <laughs> you should see the headache on the other guy. I think it's a he's a woman, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's not yeah, how the cliche is. goes. Gosh. Uh, and there are work crews trying to uh, patch together the footbridge while slots is being dredged out of the river. <laughs> Did they just live there all night. <laughs> Okay, while I sure didn't. While Slots is sitting on the uh, take two HP, uh, <laughs> that was out of character. You don't have to. While Slots is uh, sitting in a dry place, just rinsing uh, mud out of don't his working. Don't I look like a man of honor? <laughs> uh, that might sound better. Is why are you uh, questioning my honor? But da 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 da. So, it's the next morning, and, uh, what do you do? I am up to. Yeah. I imagine those of you who are in a uh, more practical-minded mood are looking to resupply. Uh, people... Actually, yeah, I could buy some more, like, runes and stuff if they have... Oh, absolutely, they've got those. You might be interested in Albright's Curio Shop. Sure. Actually, uh, I have a question, uh... About about oh, runes, mechanical questions. Okay. Um, there are there champion runes, or do you just use a rune and when you're champion level, it's more. Ah, huh, you know, I don't know. I don't I will, really like. I have the book open. I will look it up in the background while we continue to play. Okay. Okay. Because I haven't used a rune in a while, and I've been wanting to restock, but I couldn't remember. Did Manuel ever get that sword? Uh, I don't think that was something I managed to do managed to get close enough to it's pretty gross but did, so did you just did you just sleep up there 
I don't even assume somebody's gonna go fetch it eventually. You're all into shiny things. Oh, there are champion the runes. They usually cost 300, but they're giving them to you guys for 200, which is pretty near cost, actually. <laughs> oh, cool. They're... In that case, I'd like to buy some champion runes. Let's say, like, four? Should hold me for a while? Four? No. <laughs> let's all make right. it... Let's Let's make it two, because uh, we're, we'll get to epic before too long, and I'm going to buy epic room. All right. Point. That'll be 400 GP. Uh, in Albright's Curio Shop, uh, it's a uh, it has an extraordinary wares. Uh, it's got all sorts of uh, visits and whaty jibbers. Uh, there's a wide collection of glass paperweights that uh, the, the glass beads inside them are constantly moving in a ballet of just cool looking shit. Why didn't I go there yesterday? <laughs> uh, there the are just all sorts of uh, desk knickknacks. Uh, the owner, Tommy, Tommy Albright, uh, points out, uh, oh, this one will always tell you the time. This one will keep you uh, up to three appointments mostly not late uh, and this one will tell you what your boss thinks of you today <laughs> I'm my own boss <laughs> uh, there are pelts of critters that you've never seen uh, some that you thought were only mythological uh, you figure they might be forged but hey who knows in a place like this And yes, champion tier runes at a discount for the uh, champions. <laughs> the champions. That's the that's the ad they're going with, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A discount for champions. It's a very Not limited very discount. Answer. Most of the town isn't really qualified. <laughs> yeah. They are not eligible. I wonder what this I mean, town's gonna do with itself. <laughs> Yorn buy it just out of pity for Bjorn. For what purpose? <laughs> he screams to the heavens as he buys one. <laughs> How can he pay for it? Lay the man who burnt his house down. <laughs> How does Bjorn have any money? Is anybody else gonna stock up? I and mean, they've got potions and things. Uh, so at, at the I'm I'm also shopping at okay. the curio shop because I wanted to go shopping. I want. To just looking looking through all his little little chach keys, I want to because I still have that mystery cube that I stole from the blue. Yes. And uh, I, if there's anything that looks basically even vaguely similar to that, I'm probably gonna be interested in it because I really like my mystery cube and I like it so much I want more of them. Uh, do you show Tommy the mystery cube? Are you asking for assistance from the shopkeeper? I was like, do you have anything that's like a cube and it's got like etchings on it and no one really understands it? Ah, and... we have many cubes, the purpose of which I do not even understand. Uh, oh, I, there's oh, a roll top yeah. desk that contains vials of different potions. He closes it and then opens it up and it's filled with cubes. Oh, oh. yeah, well, let me add them cubes. Um, most people are interested in the roll top desk, but yes, cubes. <laughs> I was selling you the desk. What am I going to so. do with the desk? Uh, the what did you do with the chairs? Yeah, did, did you buy... Those are chairs! Did you buy the That's chair different. from the honeypot? Because trust me, the honeypot had a chair that was exactly like your previous chair. Oh, shit. You should have said that! Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. <correctly>. Okay. <laughs> Let me make a note of honeypot chair. God. All right. Now, uh, yes, 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 cubes. Uh, this one here, uh, this cube has ten sides. I'm not entirely sure how. This I want it. How much for it? How much for the ten-sided cube? Uh, 80 gold. Done. Okay. <laughs> uh, this cube has the voice of my mother in it. Your mother or, or to my mother? Uh, I've only listened to it with my own ears. It's hard to tell. Can I listen to it for a second? Absolutely. Just to see if it sounds like my mother at all, I pick it up. Does it sound like my mother? Tommy, it's your mother. All right. 
I'll pass on this one. Okay. I, I, I need to hear that. <laughs> oh. <right. laughs> what your last name happens to be Peppercorn? <laughs> it's all bright. It's a Didn't very you know honest. Out of character. It's a very honest <laughs> shop. Uh, okay. Uh. He gives you the description of all the cubes. None of them seems quite right, though many of them are interesting. And some, like you say, like, pff, I don't know. Cube. Mm. Cube? Cube? Oh, yeah, okay. I like, like, let me let me add one of the ones where he has no clue. Let's let's think about that one a little bit. Okay. Harder. It's a uh, cube. It's got rather... It's got blunted edges. Uh, so, like, if you were to roll it, it would roll kind of farther than you might want and it is uh, a crimson color color where'd you find this one ah uh, yes that came in uh, with the regional affliction uh, that came in with the trade in very old things however uh, it was determined to not be quite old enough for the pile it's more recent only about 200 to 250 years. Uh, this came in the trader in odd wares, as do many of my wares. Uh, I protect the anonymity of my sources, I must say. Uh, but yeah, okay. I believe this was That's picked cute. up in the uh, southern regions. Uh, not quite the red waste, but shall we say the pinkish edge. <laughs> Everybody's slowly piling in. I just wanted to, you know, go with the crowd. Um, do, do you mind if I pick it up and take a look at it? Oh, no problem, no problem at all. I, I pick it up. I whisper to it. Uh, it says back, 75% off. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, percent off know. what? Tommy has is very taken aback. He's never seen it do that before. So it, this is like a like it puts things on sale. That's very dangerous. I suggest you take it out of my store immediately. <laughs> okay, I will definitely take it. take it out of your store immediately. How can I make any profits with that thing in my store? Ah. <sighs> Uh, Riff runs up to the counter and says, Give me the cube of your mom in it. I don't like your tone, wow. sir. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Why is everyone so mushy in this town? Really, Rip? He, he slams <laughs> down the roll top desk, he opens our it up, and it's just the cash register because he has to uh, ring up mint. And oh, <laughs> what cube? I don't have any cubes with my. You freak. <laughs> Rip kind of just throws his hands off in the air and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Tough guy ain't so good with people sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Look, I promise none of us taught him how to do that, and I don't know where he learned it. <laughs> Anyhow, yes. <laughs> it's from this... down the road. I learned it from my nephew. Uh, yeah, that and adds it up. always gets him a discount. There's another shop next door. Uh, it doesn't really have a name on the sign, but you've heard people refer to it as the Salvage. Cool. Uh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the cubes and the good thoughts. Mm -hmm. Down again. Also, question: How did Bella get out of jail? He's just drunk, tank. No, it's okay. The sun rose. They let you out. It was just yeah, open right. the whole time. Slept there. In that case, that's not the first time it's happened <laughs> <laughs> today. For me. All right, with. Uh, within the salvage, you can tell by, why it's called that. There's a merfolk named Hans at the counter of this one. And uh, everything just has that uh, patina of something that's spent a long time underwater. Uh, let's see. It's Let me read the uh, graciously provided description. Uh, it specializes, or at least claims to specialize, in strange trinkets found far across the Iron Sea. And some reclaimed from the bottom fro uh, of it. 
lots of garbage literally dredged up from the bottom of the ocean. Ah, uh, very old garbage, which is very valuable in a town like this. Every 45 years, I don't know if you... Not know this, anymore, but every 40... we just... Is it like this... Now it's all worthless. I feel like this town's motto is like, if it's old, it must be valuable. Uh, well, I mean, it's not anymore. The dragon's gone. Yeah, there there was a clear, uh, clearly high demand for antiques that is no longer present. Also, oh, you know, the thing eating people every generation, not present, so it might be worth yeah. it. Yeah. Probably not for this guy, though. His whole business structure is going to just deteriorate. Uh, well, people know where to find me. I mean, every 45 years, I've only been in business for the last 20. So, uh, I think I'll be around. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Did this... What? <laughs> Your shop has disappeared. What, what shop? I wanted the cube. I don't want to alarm anyone, but the, the wall Scarlet was here? leaning on has disappeared, and she just falls into the. Um, there's no, there's no curio shop there. What happened to Tommy? Tommy? Oh my God, he got swallowed up by the marsh. <laughs> and <laughs> another like building appeared. And she like shouts into the ground. Tommy, are you there? No one Does knows who Tommy is. I'm sorry. What? Uh, um, ma'am, did you want to buy anything? Um, what shop is this now? I'd like to buy life insurance. Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> Give inside, me a sack of spine. Inside, it's like, it's like Tommy in like a paper thin disguise. Like, with, like a mustache or something. Buy him by the pay Fish. Grand Fish. opening sale. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, no, because it's their first day of business. <laughs> oh, okay. Scarlet was wandering over here because she heard of the curio shop, but she was also incredibly hungover from last night. She like looked yep. away, looked back, and now it's this fish ass place. She's just <laughs> so confused. <laughs> but it's a fish ass in town. I was like, who's yeah. this fish ass looking at? You? <laughs> Oh, oh, look, I'm trying to do important business. I turn to the shopkeeper and go, okay, how much for a sack of 30 asses? One gold a piece. If you want you some of our a... fine piece. You got, you got yourself a deal, Jeff. That's really expensive for fish. That's my name, Jeff Fishass. Oh, these Why babies are going to last a year. A full gold piece for a fish ass. <laughs> Hey, that's discounted for the for the heroes. Look, Jeez. fish asses are pretty hard to come by these days. No, should we, they're should not. We all, should we also throws them out? Should we also note that previous shop was also uh, <laughs> yes, look, stacker prize. Yes, it was, look. and it was noted that it is disappeared if anyone tries to return to it. So yeah. to be replaced Jeff, with fish Jeff's ass fish ass bonanza. Ass <laughs> I think, I think that was our special got, touch. Got my cubes while the cubes were good. <laughs> Uh, Art Mint is inside the salvage, and he's seeing, uh, a lot of, like, if Barnacle Chic is your decorating strategy, this is your Ikea. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, wait, no, you just want me over. Bella wants to restyle to like a mermaid. She's pretty in the mermaid, mermaid chic right now. Okay, um, like, classic mermaid seashell bra and all, or? No, but, like, but, like, a lot of, like, uh... Okay. Uh, a lot of shell, there's a, lot a of, like, coral. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, she finds this gorgeous shawl uh, that's made out of a fishnet, but the uh, shells and uh, such that are woven into it give it this mother of pearl sheen that changes in the light, and uh, it hang. The, the, there's a string of um, puka that like goes over the shoulder. It's just really cute. I, I, she'd love it. <laughs> All right. Um, old, there are old coins with uh, past emperors emblazoned on them that are, you know, just generally indicating the dates of their stamping. You know, the, the usual you'd expect to find from uh, shipwrecks, that sort of thing. Uh, and some other weird stuff from far away. Uh, this... If you strike up a, uh, who renamed Hans? 
<laughs> if you strike up a conversation with Hans, uh, he'll uh, talk about <laughs> his proudest uh, sail uh, being this one carpet he found. And some uh, agent of someone, he didn't really catch who they were buying for, was very, very interested in getting this weird black and white carpet. Oh, not that thing again! Well, not again. I mean, they sold it years and years ago. I hate that. Uh, so anyway, that's town. Uh, we still have Manuel's thing that he wanted. Yeah, what did Manuel want? I don't think Manuel wanted his thing. It's fine. Dirty. There you go. Well, what no, I told the... Scarlet about it, and she didn't want to go for me. <laughs> Look. You're too lazy to get it yourself? It's Look, so man. filthy. Do you even understand how much I had to do okay, last night? Okay, I shall dredge through this swamp muck. Walk over to this pile of trash and dig through it with my whole entire body. Are you happy? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check it's... out what was glistening in that pile then. Okay. Oh, uh, and then uh, Hans finally recognizes you and says, "That one's on the house." Uh, <laughs> to to Bella. Her uh, shawl is actually a, uh, it, it's a champion shawl, uh, which is under the uh, uh, coke, cloak, mantle, cape section of magic items, page 289. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Dang, thing, I had it, and it's really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just okay. want something cool looking to stick on the edge of my staff and just be cool looking. So oh, that's nice. basically what I'm looking for in here. Just something people would see it and be like, whoa, that's that's sweet. Dude. You find the figurehead, uh, or at least this is how Hans tries to sell it to you, <laughs> the figurehead of the first ship crafted entirely for the use of fairies. Hmm. It's a very small ship, so the figurehead oh, will naturally. fit nicely in your, is it, on the end is of your staff. Model? Oh, so it was a fairy fairy. Actually, it was a, it was a merchant barge. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it says right on the description under it on the shelf. <laughs> yep. Come on, reading is fundamental. A store like this, I mean, they they do provide. Uh, I mean, whether it's true or not, they they do provide a uh, what do you call it? A background for each of their their wares. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, well, the provenance. Yeah, tell me- yeah. Tell me more about this cool-looking figurehead. Th- so, what what is it like a an image of? Ah, uh, well, you see, instead of the usual mermaids, he rolls his eyes when he says it, or eagles or whatever land folk uh, use the fairies. They uh, revere different things. This is an image of uh, one of their legends, one of their legendary creatures. It's uh. It's a bear with uh, black and white spots all over it that eats a large, hard grass. I've uh, never heard tell of it, uh, anything like it outside. I've literally never heard of that animal before, and no. so it interests me. Wait, like... Fairies are always on. making things up. That's, yeah, but like... It's such an impossible it's made creature. Up mean it's no good. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's lovely, but... It's, it's nice. Fairies. They, you're, you're I'm going to take a look around, but I only find a currently. depiction of a creature like this in fairy workmanship. That's how you know it's it's authentic. Uh, I'm going to keep looking, but I think that I'm going to be going for that. All right. Yeah. That's 20 gold. I got to put, like, something cool on my staff. Because <laughs> it's like... The aluminum tubing is very functional. And I like <laughs> that. But, like... It's, I do like it. It's a very intricate magical orb attached to a like, he uh, fishes some like wooden doorknobs out of a drawer uh, and a lathe, and like constructs a mount for it that oh, nice. that will fit snugly into the tubing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How much I owe you for this? Uh, let's see. For the figureheads, twenty gold. Uh, parts and labor for the mount is another two. And uh, twenty-two gold. You could get twenty-two fish asses for, for that. Uh, <laughs> for, the, for the hero <laughs> discount. I'll just oh, throw in the mount for free, just twenty gold. You know, the uh, other weird thing about fairy figureheads is they always have like weird 
the heads are unattached except by a string, so they always bounce around. <laughs> Oh, those fairies. Absolutely true. I, I don't know how they got it to sail right. Probably fairy magic. What are you going to do? Sweet. Thanks, man. All right. Bella, in the meantime, would like to buy like some more, just like some, some other jewelry that she feels fits this aesthetic. Oh, yeah. Like, She's hair, hair ornaments and shells and like, like fishing hooks she type is jewelry. She's festooned. And, like, most, most of that stuff is all in the bargain bin because it's just kind of. Hell yeah. I mean, that's like grade school craft project jewelry, but I mean, he, he moves a lot of it in volume, anyhow. Yeah. And he does good work, Hans. Yeah. Okay, does anyone have any other business before we move uh, on? Waiting through this gross, gross pile. pile. The yeah, gross Manuel pile. is waiting through the pile. Uh, and Scarlet's here on the other side of the river, sort of giving him directions. Uh, but she's mostly just peering into this river. From sort of a mix of kind of trying to figure out where okay. this magic is on, and also uh, just general not feeling well. After feeling icky and gross and <sighs> the whole time going for it, uh, made a dr- <laughs> Manuel I mean, does find an ancient sword of dexterous parry. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh, you'll find that on page 292. I I get it. I am immediately wishing I hadn't. <laughs> but it's a nice prize anyway. Yes. I've made uh, an unintentional attack on the river. Okay. Uh, it feels stronger. Not, like, even stronger than it was yesterday. Uh, you can tell that while it will get closer in proximity as you get closer, but like it is steeped in the river whatever you're sensing over time. Can I get a sense of where of just uh, it's anything more? Further within the river where it goes into the woods, but not uh, you get the sense that it has not yet reached the sea. Hmm. So we need to go further down river. Further down river, you say? <laughs> our Boldo it, village elder has, has found you. Ah, I see you're enjoying our, our fine merchant district. Shame they haven't built anything right here. And he gestures to that. <laughs> it's such a prime location. I mean, things come in, they move out almost instantly. Yeah, I mean, think of all the fish asses see. you could sell in a place like this. <laughs> you could practically prime. name your price. Uh, well, we all came, we put our heads together and we figured there's something you folks need, especially if you're going to be heading down river. Uh, your wagon won't make it through, through the road, uh, because there ain't one. Through the forest, it's too thick. But, uh, and he gestures and you see there is a river barge that is, uh, large enough to float the wagon down. Oh. Don't worry about returning it. It's the least we could do. The least we could do. Yes, it is very much the very least you could do. (laughs) (laughs) I saw you having a pick out of our junk pile. That's theft right there, but I'm going to turn my back on it because you're a swell fella. Now Ah. park your ass on the fish ass barge. (laughs) Sorry to pull away. 